How's it going, Flommers? It's RJ, the not Adam. Haven't seen your pretty faces in a while. So I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but we are living in the age of superhero movies. We've had about seven or eight so far this year, and we've got at least 11 of them coming out next year. That's a lot of spandex. Especially when you consider a lot of the recurring elements that happen in just about every single superhero franchise. Every single franchise has to start out with the origin story. We can't just cut to the part where they start kicking bad guys' butts. We have to meet them when they're just a regular old schmo. I'm just a boring and mild-mannered, but otherwise likable guy whose life is pretty boring and monotonous right now, but I get the feeling that I'm destined for something great. Otherwise, how could we possibly find them relatable? And usually this guy is being kicked around by someone or something. Hey, you. Stop daydreaming and get back to being unremarkable. Okay. But then something unexpected happens. <laughs> and or he has to go through something really, really traumatic, like his parents getting shot, him getting kidnapped in a foreign country, or... <laughs> My camera battery! Died. Yeah, sure, I guess that works. But the point is it takes this traumatic, awful event for him to realize that he has something within himself. Something extraordinary. But don't cream your jeans just yet, we need a villain. And that guy is usually either the evil leader of an evil corporation, <laughs> or the leader of some kind of shady, sinister criminal organization, <laughs> or just another unremarkable schmo who falls prey to a similar science-y accident. <laughs> now we have ourselves a super-powered villain. And you know he's a villain because at some point in the movie, he's just gonna take out a completely innocent bystander to just show you how much he is a badass and does not give a Hey man, you all right? Your face looks like roadkill, noob! Oh, I'm slain! And there's probably gonna be another shot of him looking up to the heavens and probably yelling very menacingly. <laughs> Let's also not forget that most supervillains have a power that somehow represents part of the hero's darker nature. So if our hero is... Wait a minute, who is our hero? He hasn't announced himself to the audience yet. I am Vloggerman with the ability to turn anything into a hilarious video parody with my shiny underpants that I wear outside of my tights. Gotcha, so if that guy is our hero, then the villain is going to represent something darker about their nature. I am the troll, mortal enemy to all online fun and happiness. Fear me! So that when the hero finally confronts him, he's not just fighting a villain, he's also conquering a part of himself. How poetic. Anyways, now it's time for the villain to explain his plan to the audience. Haha! <laughs> I've plugged myself into the internet. Soon my powers of angry stupidity will take over every comment section in the world, and then chaos will reign supreme. And then there's usually some epic effect shot of like buildings crumbling or whatever, but we couldn't really get one of those, so this is just gonna have to do. That destruction is the hero's call to action to get up off his ass and actually do something. Even though he's usually reluctant to go. He's just so powerful. I don't know if I can beat him. What if I fail? You must. You're the hero. Without you, the story can't continue. Do your duty. Right. Duty. Right. And now we can finally get to the part we've all been waiting for. Troll, enough is enough. Time to send you back to 4chan where you belong. And then we finally get to the ass kickery. <laughs> hey, what's that? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot the we're not so different you and I speech that the villain almost always gives the hero. You must understand what I'm trying to do. Surely you see why these people don't deserve to watch their YouTube videos in peace. After all, we're not so different, you and I. No, I'll never be like you. Then you must 
die. That simple revelation is all that the hero needs to finally muster up the nads to kick some super villain ass. <laughs> So there you have it, our city, country, planet, or whatever is safe. We can all breathe easier now that this guy is on the watch. Whenever fate calls us to greatness, it's up to us to answer. Who am I? I'm Vlogger Man. There you go, guys. That is another superhero movie that is likely coming soon to a theater near you. While I do enjoy making fun of these films, that's only usually because I'm one of the hundreds of thousands of people who flock to theaters to see these movies on opening weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed this particular hero's tale. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to Flama so you can get more hilarious videos from more awesome creators. Also, tell me in the comments what your favorite super-powered action film is. Once again, I'm RJ the Not Adam, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, I almost forgot about the obligatory after the end credits teaser scene.